here in Bucharest, guys. First day out exploring. For the record, it is Sunday. So I don't know how it's going to be. Yeah, I got people out. I got people out. I heard Sundays in Bucharest are still pretty lively. So I won't have much to worry about. We'll see. Either way, one thing that I've heard and one thing that I've read about Bucharest is that this is usually sort of a stopover city. Many people come here, they stay maybe one or two days and they head out into the interior of Romania because that's where a lot of the natural beauty is. And to be honest, I can't really blame them because I've seen some pictures of some of the other towns in Romania and man, they look, they look beautiful. There's a place called, I think it's Sibiu, it starts with an S. And it looks like something straight out of a fairy tale, something straight out of a Harry Potter movie. It looks, it looks lovely. Now for the record, anytime there's a restaurant that is uh, referring to a mother or a grandmother, the food has to be good. It just has to be good. So let's get in here and check it out. Here goes the vibe. I think I'm a uh, pretty early people are probably at church. I saw uh, some churches nearby, people getting out. They got an outside area right over there. Right there. All right. And for people who are wondering, La Mama, Sounds familiar if you were a Spanish speaker. If you didn't know, Romania is a romance language. It's in the same family as French, Portuguese, Italian, Spanish, and then bam, Romanian. So it's a romance language. Oh man, one of the downsides is when a restaurant serves everything. So they got fish, burgers, breakfast. Oh, that's, that's a, it's not a good sign. We'll figure it out though. Guys, guys, let me know if I chose correctly. I believe this is the national dish right here. Then we have this. Ever since I went to uh, Russia, I love the bread with the paste, different paste. So I have that right there, get my veggies in. I asked for a local drink, they gave me this. I tasted it, this is a straight liquor. I think it's, I don't know if it's rum or whiskey, I don't know what it is, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to drink that. Believe it or not, I don't drink a lot of alcohol. And if I do, it's usually watered down and uh, very sweet cocktails, basically. So this is straight, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish that, but bam. Main dish. The stuffed cabbage rolls. You taste the cornmeal by itself. Yeah, straight, straight cornmeal. It tastes like, um, man, I forgot what this tastes like. But it's cornmeal or something similar. Oh, do I? So I messed that all up. Yeah, I messed it all up. Stick it in. This is seasoned just right. Cornmeal is plain, but I think it's supposed to be like that. It's supposed to complement this right here because this is uh, seasoned. This is cold, very refreshing right there. And then uh, you guys know what pita bread is. All right, just got out, got the uh, doggy bag. Man, I will say I was not prepared. Uh, I wasn't ready, I, I wasn't ready, man. Those portion sizes were huge. The total came up to 141. 141 right off the top of my head. Let's see, 40, 10, 20. Man, if my math is correct, that's almost close to $30, that whole meal. So I don't know, I'm gonna put it on the screen. If we take off, if we take away that shot, the meal was around $20. Metro. Let's see what the Metro stations look like. Here goes the metro station.
as I get to the transfer, I'll get out and uh, show you what the vibe is like. But you guys seen this side of Metro before. It's not going to be anything special. All right, so I'll see you guys at the transfer point. As soon as we enter. And I want to show you guys something. This flag on the left. Uh, I think that is that Chile. I don't know. But the one after that, I think that's the EU flag. If I'm not mistaken, Romania is in the EU. And not. However, they don't use the euro yet. I think they're supposed to use it soon in the next coming years. Let's walk on this side and check out the vibe. In the next coming years are supposed to use the the euro. I don't know how that's going to affect the economy here. If it's going to be a. a more expensive, but well, here goes the vibe. Look at the cafe. Yeah, like I said, it's roughly 85, 90 degrees out. Sunday, people are relaxing. Oh, in regards to the EU, I think also Romania is part of the, you guys correct me, the Schengen Zone, which basically means it's a group of countries where you can travel to each one of them without having to, um, I guess, show your passport and things like that. You know, when you get to another country, you have to go through border control and et cetera, et cetera. But I think the Schengen Zone is just like traveling to a different state. Just think about it like that in your home country. When you travel to a different state, you don't have to show id and things like that i'm pretty sure that's what it is i knew when i flew from estonia oh look at this when i flew from estonia to poland i didn't have to uh go through passport control or anything like that all right here goes look like this might be the center we came down from that way. They got photo shoots right there. And this way. We can go down straight over here, but we're going to take a left. Take a left down this way. And it's roughly around 3 p.m. So obviously, as the sun starts to go down, starts to cool off a little bit, there's going to be more people coming out. I'm sure there's still some people, you know, get singing the Holy Ghost, getting the Holy Ghost at church right now. So that might also uh, play a factor into uh, how busy it is right now. Let me pass these ladies up. Ah, ah, ah. And also, I believe this is said to be the main nightlife area. If you've been to, uh, I'm not going to say it, but it's supposed to be the main nightlife area with the dancers and all of that stuff. whole bunch of uh, skin showing, if you know what I mean. But I don't think it's a secret. Everyone knows. All right, let me get past these ladies. Or not. I'll wait. Am I? Oh, I'm almost, I can almost clear it. You know what? Let's go this way. Yeah, different ways you can go. Um, we're gonna head this way. A little like the architecture starting to change. A little like uh, earlier, it was a little bit more uh, bustling and a little bit more uh, heathenness. Here, it looked like it might be a little bit more bourgeois. So, let's find out.
Yeah, you got gelato spots, Italian spots, pizza spots, pizzerias. Oh man, I don't have any cash. I would want to get this on film, but I don't have any cash to tip them. So we'll walk by, you can hear it. Hey, hello. Oh, yeah. Oh, I have no cash. I don't have any cash. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, man, I would, uh, I would, uh, all I have are. Ukrainian is Ukrainian currency. I don't think he'll take that. I would hook him up, but uh, I don't have any cash. All right, we're walking through an area with a ton of benches. So this is for more peace and tranquility. If you're a older, if you're a seasoned citizen of the community, this might be a spot for you. If you have a couple, I mean, if you're a couple who just wants peace and quiet, this might be a spot for you. If you're an introvert, this might be the spot for you. And as usual, you're going to see a lot of graffiti, murals, street art everywhere. I asked the gentleman about that and because uh, it's back where I'm from. When you see that, it's usually gang related, gang affiliated. But uh, he said, yeah, some of it is, but you know, you'll have no problem here. People mind their own business. I was like, oh, okay. I didn't know they had Romanian gangs, but okay. All right. There are more side streets, but many of them look similar. You got uh, narrow alleyways with restaurants. Oh, okay. Restaurants. Woman standing outside trying to get you in. People eating. So uh, we're going to skip to a different area. I think what's going on right here is because it's Sunday... If I had to guess, they closed down the street for people to walk and ride and exercise. I'm guessing that's what's going on. So let me get on the street so you can see a little bit of everything. Oh, and check this out. You got to wonder what this is about. Oh, but check this building out, though. National Dis... Ooh, I don't know. Check this out. Yeah, it looks like they have a lot going on right over here. I wonder what they're waiting on. But yeah. Okay, people are waiting to go inside of this right here. This is what the long line is for. And then top right, to the left, I think the flag of Romania in the middle, coat of arms. And then to the right, we talked about it, flag of Europe. And shout out to Peru, some of the best food in the world. If you think differently, then I don't know what to say. Don't, don't, if you see me in the streets, don't talk to me if you don't like Peruvian food. So this main street is blocked off. So I've just been walking it for a while, but I turned the camera back on because of a monument that I just saw, not this one right here. Although I'm sure this has uh, some historical significance. One right here, I heard this one's controversial. It's supposed to be, hold on, let me get closer. Oh, since we're right here, it's supposed to be for those, I think that passed away during the revolution. But I heard some people don't like the way it looks. Because just by looking at it, you have no idea uh, this is for the revolution. So, yeah. But here goes a vibe over here. 
and uh I'm gonna say something for those who know. No, if you don't know, don't worry about it. It's not that important. But uh, if you like cakes, you know I love cakes. And uh, so far, when it comes to cakes, uh, Romania, Romania takes the the top right now. From the uh, Eastern European countries I've been to, uh, cakes. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it, guys. If you're, but here goes the square, Revolution Square. I'm sure this gentleman is very important. Let me get a nice view. This right over here. It goes way over there. We could go straight ahead. We're gonna make a right because I think I'm going to end it. Pretty much it's a chill day, it's a Sunday. Sunday fun day and people are out relaxing, uh, walking around, a lot of cafe shops are open, restaurants. And it's pretty much been that the whole the whole way, which is cool, it's, it's a vibe. Hey, hello. <laughs> you too? Yeah, you too. Yeah. Oh, let me show you. Sly. Uh oh, got a got a new subscriber. Yes. <laughs> hello, my. Hey, friend. hello. Hey, how's you it too? going? You too. All right, we got a subscriber right over here. Yes. My What's bro. Name? Sly. S L Y. Uh, you're, you're from? From USA? Ooh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Very much. Yeah. Sly? Sly Life. Uh, space L I F E. Yeah, now life. Yep. Alright, there we go. Uh, me yeah. too, me too. Subscribe. Oh, you, oh. Subscribe. Subscribe. Oh, what, what, subscribe. What, what's the name? David. David? My name is David. David Bombardier. Okay, Bombardier. <laughs> Rosa, you make it up. Thank you well, very much. Thank you. You're the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, shout out to them. Friendly. We'll keep it uh keep it going on this side. And look like we have uh let's go straight this way. I don't know if you can see me because of the sun, but uh, one thing I do want to say is a lot of people here speak English, very good English. Makes it better for me as an English speaker. So that's one thing I know as soon as I touch down here that uh, the land, there, re there really isn't a language barrier. And, and those were just kids and they were speaking you know, pretty good English, but some of the older folks, not older folks, but you know, people who are a little bit older in their 20s and stuff, 30s speaking. We got this spot. It's like a hidden place. They got a spot up here. You can hear the music. But yeah, like I was saying, a lot of people here, language, the language barrier, it's not going to be that much of a problem if, if you speak English. Okay, looks like we're on the main strip. I think we're going to end it right here. I'm going to figure out where the metro is. And then uh, go from there. Probably just go relax. It was a nice walk. We just explored around a little bit my first day. People were saying that uh, Bucharest is just a stopover city. Oh, the me oh the metro's right there, straight ahead. Okay, cool. People were saying this is a stopover city. The real beauty of Romania is in the outskirts. Yeah, that might be true. But I love big cities, so. I'll figure some stuff out as far as uh, places to visit, neighborhoods to check out. With that being said, let me go ahead and the video right here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Simple walk. I'm going to head to the metro straight ahead, and uh, I'm going to catch you guys at the next one. Be looking out for more from Romania, from Bucharest. I, I don't know. I might visit um, another city, especially that one that starts with the S. I think it's Sibiu or something. That looked beautiful. I might check that out. And it's the summertime, so we'll see. Anyways, we'll catch you guys at the next one. Deuces.